the last lesson, we did a quick recap of how basic logical functions work. And in this lesson, we're going to move that on a little bit and see how we can incorporate two more logical functions, AND and OR. And we've got a few different examples to work through on this page. So let's start out really basic at the top and we'll build from there. So in this first table at the top here, example one, we have a list of student names and then we have the score that they achieved in a test. And what I want to output into these cells are whether they've passed or not. And you can see over on the right hand side, we have the pass mark that they need to achieve in order to get a result of pass. So anything under 85 is going to be a fail, which I think is pretty harsh. Now, this is just a basic if statement like we did in the last lesson. So let's type in equals if. What is our logical test? Well, if the score, and this time we're going to say is greater than or equal to 85, and we're going to press F4 to lock that cell reference. If that is true, then they have passed. If it's not, then they have failed. Let's close the bracket, control enter to stay in the same cell, and then we can double click to copy down. So we can see that anything that is 85 or above has a result of pass. Anything that's under 85 has a result of fail. Nice and basic, nice and straightforward. Let's move on to a more complex example. Now, this time we have a list of products. We have the weight of each of those products and we have the price and we need to calculate the shipping fee. And if you take a look over on the right, you can see that we have weight 30, shipping fee 20%. So what we're saying here is that if any of these products has a weight of 30 kilograms or more, there's going to be a 20% shipping fee charged. And that's going to be 20% of the overall price of the product. So this is an example of how to use a calculation within an if statement. So let's type equals, we're going to say if, what is our logical test? Well, we want to test if the weight is greater than or equal to 30 kilos, F4 to lock that cell. Now, if that is true, if it is greater than or equal to 30 kilos, then we want to work out what 20% of the price is. So this is where we need to perform a calculation. So if that's true, we're going to say calculate 30% of 500. Now to do that, we simply need to select the cell C14 and we're going to multiply it by the shipping fee. And again, we need to press F4 to lock that shipping fee in place because we don't want it to move when we copy the formula down. Now, if it's false, there is no shipping fee. So I'm just going to have a blank cell and we represent that with two quote marks. Let's close off our if statement. Let's press control enter. And we should find that when we copy this down, wherever we have a product that is 30 kilograms or higher, we now have a shipping fee total in column D. The other cells will remain blank. So that is how you can use formulas within your if statements. Now let's move down the page a little bit and take a look at AND and OR. Now AND and OR allow you to perform multiple logical tests. In all of the examples that we've seen so far, we've been performing one logical test and specifying what we want the result to look like. This time we're going to test multiple conditions. So again, we have a list of student names and this time they've sat two separate tests and we've got the score that they achieved for test one and the score that they achieved for test two. And you can see over on the right hand side, the pass marks that they need to achieve for each test in order to receive an overall result of pass. So we're going to say that anything greater than or equal to 75 in test one is a pass and anything greater than or equal to 65 in test two is a pass. So we're going to use the AND function. So let's type in equals. We're going to say and. Notice here the arguments logical 1, logical 2, logical 3, logical 4. We can perform many logical tests. So what is our first logical test? Well, if score 1 is greater than or equal to 75, F4 to lock that cell, comma. We then go straight into logical 2. So our second logical test is and if this score is greater than or equal to 65 F4 to lock. So what we're saying here is that both of these need to be above the pass mark in order to receive an overall result of pass. Now, if I just leave it like that and hit enter, we're going to get a result of true or false. And it's true because this score is greater than 75 and this score is greater 
than 65. So both of these are true, giving us an overall result of true. Now, I don't want it to say true, so this is where we can wrap it in an if to make it more meaningful. So we've got our logical test, that's everything in this AND formula. We can jump straight to the end, and if it's true, we can say pass if both of these are true. And if even one of them is false, we need a fail in there. Let's hit enter, double click to copy down, and you can see the results just there. So for example, this one that says fail, it's a fail because test one is below the pass mark, even though test two is above. Because with the AND formula, we need both of these to be true in order to get a pass. So you can use AND to perform multiple logical tests. Now, all works in a very similar way, except this time, instead of saying both of them need to be true, only one of them needs to be true in order to achieve a pass. So again, we have students, we have their scores in two tests, and they only need to get above the pass mark in one of these tests in order to get a result of pass. So let's do this in the same way. We're going to say or this time. It's exactly the same arguments. So we're going to say if this score is greater than or equal to the pass mark F4 to lock, or if this score is greater than or equal to the pass mark F4 to lock close the bracket, hit enter, we're going to get a result of true or false. Remember, we just need to wrap this in an if in order to make this more meaningful. So if one of those is true, they're going to get a pass. If neither are true, they're going to get a fail. Close the bracket, hit enter, and then we can double click to copy down. So you can see that these are all passes except this last one because both scores are below the minimum pass mark. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.